so we need to change out the snare. Um, this could go a few different ways. We could get this kind of fat pillowy kind of, you know, uh, this fat pillowy snare like this, which might be cool. It might be kind of heavy for the track, but let's try it out to see what, see what kind of, see what this will give us. This is a big old fat, I think it's a seven by 14. And it goes like this. Well, let's put it up and we'll hear it. So this snare sounds like this. Woo! Just to be dampened a bit, but it's fat. We put a towel on this to really try to get the overtones out of it. There we go, that's better. So already to me, this this seems a bit weighty. Um, uh, I think it's going to weigh down the track. Once we get to the chorus, it's not going to give us this kind of light, light airy uh, thing that we need to kind of float across the top. I think this is going to this is going to be too thuddy. So let's try something else. Um, another thought for this might be something like this. This is an old Rogers. Uh, it's tuned up higher. This drum's really nice, this wood drum. This kind of has, it also has a kind of a fake calfskin head on it. This is American Vintage Head by Aquarian. And this, yeah, it's kind of cool. This could work. Um, this might be worth investigating in the track. It's also got a nice rim. It may be a little fat for the track. We want fat, but we don't want... It may, it may be, need to be a little more modern too. So let's try it. Let's try it in the track a bit and see how it sounds. All right, I like it. It's definitely got a Motown sound to it, but it, it doesn't seem to be, even through the headphones to me, it doesn't seem to be uh, kind of cutting through track and it doesn't really have the spread um, that I want uh, from the snare in this track. Uh, you know, one thing I might want to try is lowering it. I didn't tune this to the track. Let me, I'm going to lower it a bit. So here's one good thing about this drum. I'm not really hearing a pitch from this drum. So I don't think, I think wherever this drum sits, I think because it's kind of dead. I think because it's kind of dead, we're not, we're not, we're not, we don't really have to worry about the pitch of the, of the, of the snare at all. But now we're getting back into this kind of weighty area already that the previous one had. Um, let's just, let's just play. Yeah, to me, it's just it's just too dry, and that's that's part of the head that's on it, and that's part of the wood. To me, they just wood drums just they lack. I guess maybe they lack a high end or kind of an openness that metal drums do. Um, and I think this is just going to get sucked up uh, by the track. So I love this drum, but I still don't think it's the right thing. Let's check out another. What, okay, so this drum right here, this is a pretty great drum. This makes it on a lot of kind of rock 
tracks. And this looks pretty similar to this here. Uh, but as you can see, there's less lugs. This is a six lug. This is an eight lug, sorry. So this is a six lug, six lug. So six lug drums uh, tend to uh, just be lower in general. You can't get them as high. Um, and this, this drum has an amazing spread on it. It really fits in well for some, some things. I use it on a lot of kind of pop tracks. I don't know for this R&B, R&B Motown feel, if it's gonna be right. As you can hear, it, it's pretty open. Loosen the snares a bit. Right. So, let me, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna place half a tune. Okay, so uh, yeah, this 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 drum doesn't really feel like the right drum to me. Um, it's got a really great spread. It's kind of a gushy sound, um, which for some tracks, actually some tra tracks that are really thick with uh, guitars and keyboards, this drum has an amazing way of sitting in. Um, I don't, you know, it's kind of hard to explain, but this the, the way. I guess the lack of attack and it just kind of goes uh, it really seems to it really seems to sink into tracks that are real really thick um, with this track I think it's lacking some attack um, and lacking some presence um, that that it that it needs uh, that this track needs so it's it's such a soft, the, the track to me is such a soft uh, vibe, I guess, that, you, you know, to give it some juxtaposition, you want to have some, some oomph in there. So it's not just, you know, it's not just all mushy. Uh, so, yeah, as much as I love this drum, still don't think it's the right one. Um, Let's look for more. We have them, so let's use them. Okay, so I think my next option would be this guy. So this is a 30s era, or maybe 20s? I can't remember. 20s era Ludwig uh, chrome over brass. Uh, this is kind of a, a go-to staple. Um, it's got these really old school thin rims uh man this drum can do so much can go high can go low it's tight um see you can hear the difference already let me see if i can do an a b for you especially because they look so similar similar size uh the lug the same heads uh slightly different tuning but but uh you can really hear the difference here. Oop. So, to me, this drum is much more, it has a short sound. It's really subtle. So obviously this one is tuned higher. But this has an attack to it. Splat. Punch. Um, some of it could be related to the higher tuning, but in general, more lugs 
it's uh, it's pulling on the head more all around. It's going to give a tighter sound. It's got a great touch. And it's still fat. Um, really fat for a small drum like this. So let's let's try this in the track. Um, let's just see how this fits. Sometimes burn you down. 